Without health insurance and additional testing, the average cost of a doctor's visit can range from $150 to $200. This isn't cheap, but beneath the complaining, everyone values their health. If it weren't for these doctor's appointments, diseases would go undiagnosed, we would be in pain and have no idea why. So although no one likes getting their flu shot or getting their blood drawn, nothing is more relieving than knowing that you are healthy. And deep down, everyone in this auditorium can agree with that. Hi, my name is Colleen Talty, and although I hate to be the bearer of bad news, these efforts to ensure your health don't always apply to everyone. I'm talking about the daughters in the audience, the mothers, the sisters, the aunts, the nieces. I'm talking about the women. Now, it's no surprise that men have been the dominant gender for quite a considerable amount of time, but gender inequality has infiltrated its way into heart health research. So the tests and the treatments that we have designed for women are fairly recent additions to the field. If you don't believe me, listen to Dr. Jennifer Tremel. She is an assistant professor of cardiovascular medicine at the Stanford University Medical Center. So I'm pretty sure she knows what she's talking about. And she sums up the challenge. For years, the standard of medical treatment for women with heart disease was based on what we know about heart disease in men. Think about stress tests. They have searched for blockages mainly seen in men. Now, it's widely used tests like this that women are taking that are more so scams than they are the truth. I hate to say it, but women have been held at a disadvantage when it comes to the medical field. Now, with 74 million people finding a lot of their medical information from WebMD, it's no surprise that people value more what they read online. This page lists chest discomfort as the number one symptom to never ignore in relation to heart health. I can't disagree, it, it makes sense. But if you're able to make it past the advertisement on the bottom, you know, you know, telling you to buy the world's best leggings, or the article on the side questioning if seeds are good for your diet, you might actually be able to scroll down to see the information catered for women. Now, if you scroll down, and I'm sorry, but um, if you can focus on the center of the page, it says nausea, indigestion, heartburn, and stomach pain. These may be listed second, but I was shocked to hear that these were the more critical warning signs for women to watch out for. Why is it that the most relevant information for women is subjected to a one-sentence comment that most people aren't going to be able to get to anyway? I mean, is it really that shocking that men and women are going to have different symptoms for the same disease? I mean, there's no formula dictating who's going to get what and what symptoms each person is going to experience. All we know is that no disease looks the same on two different people. So why are we given one answer to two very different questions? I'm sorry, but the women are going to have to dig a little bit deeper to find the information catered for them. This tweet was sent by a woman who had survived a heart attack while feeling no chest pain at all. She wrote, I want to warn women, our heart attacks feel different. Last Sunday, I had a heart attack. I had a 95% block in my left interior descending artery. I'm alive because I called 911. I never had chest pain. It wasn't what you read in pamphlets. I had it on and off for weeks. She later wrote that the pain ran across my upper back, shoulder blades, and equally down both arms. It felt like burning and aching. I actually thought it was muscle strain. It wasn't until I broke into a drenching sweat and started vomiting that I called 911. This isn't as uncommon as most people might think. In fact, women are more likely to experience cold sweat, shortness of breath, nausea, vomiting, indigestion, fatigue, and even back or jaw pain. Now, out of these eight symptoms, chest pain wasn't one of them. That's because we live in a world where these classic heart attack symptoms are just the ones that apply to men. So when you do your research to take care of yourself, images like this, this, or even this aren't too relevant to most women, despite how many times you'll see them on heart health awareness posters. Now, sir, for some women, this is the reality. But in the weeks leading up to a heart attack, symptoms can vary. Now, the education that women have been receiving in regards to heart health is general. In fact, it's mainly for men. Now, the, even in the doctor's office, doctors aren't too great at identifying the symptoms for female heart attacks. It's 
been reported that some women have had to convince their doctors that their symptoms were serious. If you don't believe me, just listen to Nancy Largo. One day, she was feeling some stomach pain. She immediately assumed it was because of something she ate. When she went to go see her doctor, he still kept her overnight, but assured her that it was a gallstone and really just nothing to worry about. It wasn't until she got home when she started to experience chest pain. She picked up the phone, she called her doctor. When she arrived at the hospital, she had been told that she had two heart attacks over the course of five days. Imagine the strain on this woman's body. Nancy nor her doctor could attribute any of her symptoms to a heart attack. Now, where did this all come from? The lack of women in clinical trials. When clinical trials first began, only males were subjected to the different treatments. When lab rats were being used to test for medication, does anyone want to guess which gender of rats were being used? Yeah, that's how the first few years of heart health research has been studied, as a disease for men. We're seeing the effects now of using male-based research on female patients. It's like playing Russian roulette with medicine. Now, I want to remind everyone that although research has been restricted, the symptoms that women experience are much more discreet than what men experience. And as a result, testing is complicated. Women have CMV, which stands for coronary microvascular dysfunction. Now, this is caused by the built of plaque that affects the walls of the tiny coronary blood vessels. Now, because it is, just, is not just affecting one large artery, the symptoms are not going to be as obvious or as sudden. So, the symptoms are hard to detect. That's why doctors have such a hard time diagnosing. We cannot let these symptoms be an excuse, however. When it comes to health, everyone has to account for themselves. Symptoms are different, severities of diseases are different, but symptoms in heart attack and heart attacks between men and women are in some cases worlds apart. We have to take it upon ourselves to educate others about the mishaps of modern day technology. I want everyone to leave the room knowing something that could help others. As a result, we can save everyone's lives.